Hey guys, Allie with Tip B here, and what a wonderful week it has been for Jailbreakers. Uh, we saw Green Poison and Lime Rain release shortly after for uh, Windows, and now we have uh, Lime Rain for iOS 4.1 for Mac. So we're going to go through how to run that on a Mac and jailbreak your uh, iDevice. Now just keep in mind, this will work with uh, the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS. It will also work for iPod Touch generations 4 and 3 in the iPad. If you have an older iPod Touch than 4th and 3rd generations or um, an iPhone 1st gen or a 3G iPhone, uh, you're probably going to have to hold out for a bit because I uh, can't guarantee I've seen people say that uh, they're not working on those and they're not advertised to work on those yet. So I've already done this, but first thing you need to do is go to limerain.com, which is L-I-M-E-R-A-1-N.com. And you're going to download the Mac version. I've already saved it down here in my dock. You can see I have some past ones on here, too, uh, that I could probably get rid of. But uh, I've already put my phone in DFU mode just to speed this up a bit. But um, this will actually do it for you, so you don't need to do it. And then it'll walk you through it. So when you launch it... Uh, when I click this, it's just automatically pulled home in power. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, phone turned off. And I'm doing this on a 3GS right now. And then release the power button. <laughs> All right. We will go ahead and minimize iTunes. Okay. Don't make fun of my music collection. Um, all right, so right now I have got the Lime Rain logo on the screen. And uh, as this says right now, the reason I took you to that page was you need to make sure you go to the Lime Rain page. If you're paying for this or going somewhere, um, other than this, I wouldn't trust that. So make sure you're going to limerain.com um, to get this. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and come back once my phone reboots. All right, guys, so we are done here. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you're able to see that yet. So it says Lime Rain Jailbreak, done. So after it rebooted, um, I'm pretty sure you should have like a little Lime Rain icon here. My iPhone 4 did this too, and I actually used Green Poison. The icon didn't show up until I rebooted. I don't know, but it still works. So you're going to click the Lime Rain icon, which for some of you might be a white blank. For some of you might actually show the green drop or whatever it is. Um, and then you're going to want to select to uninstall, or to install Cydia. So... And this actually, um, for people saying this has a lot of bugs, this is going a lot faster than uh, Green Poison was on my iPhone 4. Oh, and see there the Lime Rain icon shows. Um, but I can't really judge that because I did download Cydia through Green Poison on like two bars of 3G instead of Wi-Fi, so that could be the speed difference. But after that, you go into Cydia and do your thing, and you are jailbroken on 4.1. Uh, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask in the comments, or even better, visit forum.tipb.com and ask in our jailbreak forum. Uh, anything else, uh, I am at iMuggle on Twitter. You can follow all of us at TipB. Uh, questions, comments, issues, let us know. Thanks, guys.